Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on solving rational equations. Let's take a look at our first example. Even though there are a lot of different methods for solving rational equations, I think the easiest method is just by multiplying the entire equation by the lowest common denominator, and that way you get rid of the denominator altogether. So here, our least common denominator is x because x is really x over 1, 6 is really 6 over 1, and all we have is an x in the denominator. So we're going to multiply the entire equation by x. And here, x times x is x squared. x squared divided by 1 is still x squared. Over here, 8x divided by x, the x is 1 out because anything divided by itself 1's out. So we're left with 8. And then over here, we have 6 times x divided by 1, which is 6x. So now our equation actually becomes quadratic. And when we're solving quadratics, we want to set our equation equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. We get x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. And I could factor this quadratic equation. So when I factor, it's going to be x minus 4 times x minus 2 equals 0. And when I set each of those factors equal to 0, I get x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. Okay, so we always have to check with rational equations if our solutions do in fact work. So I have to plug it back in. So here when I plug them into x, you get 4 plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. So 4 plus 2 is 6. And then when you substitute in 2, you get 2 plus 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 2 plus 4 is indeed 6. So both of these solutions work. Um, they are not extraneous solutions. Let's take a look at another example. So here we have to remember that x minus 1 is a quantity together. So I'm going to put parentheses around those. And our least common denominator is going to be 6 times x minus 1 because those don't go into each other. So I'm actually going to multiply, and this is going to look a little strange, I'm going to multiply each term by 6 times x minus 1. And it's actually a lot easier than it looks because a lot of things are going to divide out. So here we're not going to distribute. We're just going to divide out the x minus 1 over x minus 1. And then what we have left to distribute is just x times 6, which is 6x. And then here, we're going to divide out 6 divided by 6, because that's just 1. And then I distribute x to x minus 1, and I get plus x squared minus 1x. And then on the other side of the equal sign, before I distribute, I'm going to divide out the x minus 1s, because anything divided by itself is 1, and 1 times 6 is 6. I'm going to simplify the left-hand side. We get x squared, 6x minus 1x is plus 5x equals 6. And again, it's quadratic, so I want to set this equal to 0. I get x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals 0. And when I factor this, I get x minus, or I'm sorry, that's plus 6, and x minus 1 equals 0. When I set those factors equal to 0, my solutions become x equals negative 6 and x equals positive 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to substitute those back into the equation to make sure they create true statements. After you do that, you'll discover that negative 6 is in fact a solution, but 1 is not. So that's called an extraneous solution. And so negative 6 is the only solution to this equation. That concludes our lesson on solving rational equations. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments section below. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.